NAD stands for nicotinamide, which is vitamin B3, and adenine dinucleotide, this is a sugar and a phosphate. The important part about it is that the cells, our cells use NAD to transfer hydrogen atoms between proteins and, and even DNA. That is really important for life. And without it, we can't make chemical energy, which is in the form of ATP, which we'll talk about later because that's important for metformin. NAD is found in abundance. There's many grams of it in the body. It's probably, with the exception of ATP, the most abundant molecule we have in the body. It helps us make energy, but it also has this other function that's just as important that we worked on and co-discovered in the 2000s. It activates the sirtuins, and the sirtuins are these defensive enzymes that, like the Pentagon, send out the troops. The problem is, as we get older, we make less NAD, and we also destroy it more for reasons that we don't fully understand, but it leads to a decline in our ability to fight off aging and the diseases that it causes. And this is because... NAD is a sensor for adversity. It is. If you exercise, it's known uh, and fast, it's known to raise NAD levels. But even though, even if you exercise and have the healthiest diet, you're still going to have lower NAD levels by the time you, you know, you're, you're in the latter half of your life. So that's why these supplements are thought to help because they'll boost up those older levels of NAD to where they were when you were 